Hello. Welcome back once again to Jeff Finnegan's Wake, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Finnegan's Wake to the internet at large at all. Currently two pages at a time, one day at a time, till I'm caught up, then it's one page at a time, one day at a time. Finnegan's Wake is a book by James Joyce. It's nonsense. We're on to page 121. Here we go. His Claudian brother, <clears throat> it was worthwhile interrupting to say, throughout the papyrus as they revise Mark, stalks all over the page. Broods, and then it's an upside down capital F. Sensation seeking an idea amid the verbiage. Gaunt stands de dejectedly in the diapered window margin, with its basque of bay leaves all aflutter about its forked frogs. Paces with a frown, jerking to and fro, flinging phrases here, there, or returns inhibited. With some half-halted suggestion, upside down off, dragging its shoestring, the curious warning sign before our proto-parents Ipsissima Verba, a very pure nondescript, by the way, sometimes a palm-tailed otter, more often the arbutus fruit flower leaf of the cane apple, which paleographers call a leak in the thatch or the Aranman Ingperwis through the hole of his hat indicating that the words which follow may be taken in any order desired. Whole of a ran man, the hat through the whispering his hoe, here keen again and begin again to make sound sense and sense sound kin again. Those haughty pitched disdotted ikes, easily of the rariest in his droll, as most of the jaywalking eyes we do plow into have, unconnected, principal, medial or, f medial or final, always jims in the jam, Sahib, as pipless as threadworms, the innocent exhibitionism of those frank yet capricious underlinings, that strange exotic serpentine, since so properly banished from our scripture, about as freak wing a wetter hand now as to see a right-headed lady white don a cork horse, which, in its invisible insolence, ever longer more and more morosity, seems to uncoil spirally and swell Lacer teen lazily before our eyes under pressure of the writer's hand, the ungainly musicianlessness so painted in sculpting self-sounder, aha, as black artful, as a pedatus and dumbfounder, oh ho, oeprorois, as ten cannons in skelter fwig. The studious omission of year number and era name from the date, the one and only time when our copyist seems at least to have grasped, grasped the beauty of restraint, the lubricitious conjugation of the last with the first, the gypsy matting of a grand stylish grave digging with second best buns and interpolation. These munchables occur only in the Boother Brouth family of MSSBB. Cod the fourth, Pet the second, Breck the ninth or the eleventh, Lun the third, Din the seventeenth, Sup the thirtieth, Fallop. Let's see, M D C X C so that's is L five D's five hundred, so sixteen ninety, sixteen ninetieth. The scoliast has hungrily misheard a dead man's toller as a muffin bell. The foreshortened <laughs> oh, this gibberish. God damn. But we're working our way through it. I'd say I'm maybe a seventh of the way through, so yeah, progress, question mark. But, that's page 121 of Finnegan's Wake here on Jeff Finnegan's Wake. Good night.